Hello, Paul Hamilton for iPad Monthly. This is the second uh, lesson in the sequence. Uh, last lesson, we created a fantastic little flappy bird um, in the assembly app. So if you haven't seen that, take a look. We did some graphics, and today we're actually gonna put it into an app and actually create our little digital game. Now, we're gonna use an app today called Sketch Nation. It's free um, with some in-app purchases, so be wary of that. Um, it doesn't allow us to do the coding aspect of it, but this would be fantastic for kind of year levels two, three, four, looking at game design elements, creating games. We're going to create a little flappy bird game with the graphics that we created with um, the assembly app for iPad. So a little bit of an app smash here. So let's get into Sketch Nation and take a look at it. It actually wants me to um, use my iPad uh, once again in portrait mode. So that's something a little bit different. And you can see some featured games that other kids have made, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to create our own game, and we're actually going to build the side flying, so that um, flappy bird type game. But you can see there, there's a whole lot of presets uh, with preset coding kind of in, so you only have to kind of manipulate the images and the graphics, and it's a great way of getting kids interested in gaming um, and actual game design before you actually get into the coding elements of it. So let's go with side flying. Um, for this one, I'll just go with a kind of low res. Uh, but you can create high uh, resolution photos if you want. Um, and we won't go into expert mode and, and advanced mode and look at multiple levels. We'll just create a simple one here, just so you get the idea of it. And then I'll let you and your um, amazing kids create um, some games that are well beyond what we do today. So let's start at the top. We're just, we're gonna click on the edit and we're actually just gonna fill the background with white. So I'm just gonna hit it once and it just fills it with white and we're gonna press done. So now we've kind of got a background that's kind of a white background. The second one is we need to actually import the images that we actually save to our camera roll. So I'll click on the draw player and what we'll do is we'll actually import and upload our photo from our camera roll. And let's go with um, one of the, uh, about the fourth last one that actually looks at the wing in one area. And we're actually gonna press done. And then we're gonna click down the bottom on frames. So clicking on frames, and what we're gonna do is add a frame. Now you can see that that wing goes basically horizontal. So we're actually gonna bring in the second frame and import the image that the uh, wing is slightly down a little bit. So it's that one there, and we're gonna press done. And then we're gonna press done again. And what you can see is my little flappy bird has got the impression through a little animation that it's actually flying. And it's a really simple way of animating your characters in your digital game, really, really cool. And you can actually get quite complex. So we could add another three or four layers on that. We could actually get the, the bird actually tilting down and not just have the wings. We could do a, a range of different things. Uh, next, we're gonna draw the obstacle. At the moment, it's kind of like the flappy bird obstacle, but we're gonna import that image that we used in uh, the assembly app, which is this kind of graphic here, and we'll press done. We could rotate that, we could flip it slightly, but we'll just press done there, and we'll press done again. And you can see there that we've actually got the structure and the fundamentals of the graphics that we need for our digital game. So let's play it and see what it looks like. Um, remembering it's a Flappy Bird game, so we need to actually tap to start, and there we go. Now you can see there, whoop, didn't get past. So what we actually need to do is some little bits of editing. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my background and I'm actually gonna fill it again. It didn't work properly that time. I'm actually gonna fill it with white and press done because when we actually play that, let's have a look at this time, still hasn't worked. Let's go back, uh, let's continue. Have a quick look. You can see that it's actually the blue background. So what we're gonna do is pause that and actually get our background right. Let's see if we can actually do this. So I'm gonna to go to fill. I'm gonna to go to color. I'll click on something else, fill it, then go to white. Maybe there's a little bug in the app. Uh, let's go to white color. That's good. Back, fill, white, press done. You can see now that it's got a white background. Now that's gonna help us in two ways. It's gonna make our uh, little sprite bird look awesome, but it's also gonna look at our obstacles, make it look a little bit better so we don't have that box look. Let's see how that looks now. Oh yeah, much better. So I've got my little bird, he's flying, and I've got my graphic there um, going through uh, each of them. So um, that's it, really, really um, easy flappy bird game. 
little bit harder to get through. Mr. Hamilton, Paul needs to actually practice this a little bit more. Um, but you can alter the obstacles as well and you can see how fun that is. And we've created all of the graphics ourselves, which is pretty amazing. Um, two apps that we've used with that. Um, clearly, we've used the Sketch Nation app and also the Assembly app to create the graphics. And what you can definitely do is start to have a look. If I go back to actually creating a game, you can actually see some, some matching games. So you could actually link them a little bit more with the curriculum. You could actually bring in some physics. Um, you could do some matching down the bottom. You could actually bring in your numbers, some turnaround facts and multiplication. Um, you could do some little scrolling activities where you bring in graphics of numbers and create a little maths. Um, kind of scrolling game. You could do a range of different things that really bring in some different aspects of the curriculum. You could have a side running game that actually brings in your study of ancient Egypt and they can create characters and monuments based on that historical period of time. So there's a range of different things you can do curriculum wise, but this is just a great medium for kids telling stories, um, having a little bit of fun and learning about graphics and data and how data can be represented in a number of different ways. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.